Hello, Dream Matt A. And hello, sir. This video aims to understand the ICD policies and issues, policies and issues on internet and implications to teaching and learning. For introduction, globalization is the reality and ICD has become a fundamental part of the process. A network society is one in which the entire planet is organized around telecommunicated networks of computer. When we say globalization, it happens globally. Let me ask you a question. Are you aware on ICD policies or internet policies? What is ICT policy? ICT policies are a course of actions to be pursued and adopted by various governments, organizations, entities involving ICT. This includes this include this include principles and guidelines and the use of ICT which cover three main areas: telecommunications, broadcasting, and internet. The new ICT technologies, we have information technology, telecommunication technologies, and networking technologies. Number one, information technology. This includes the use of computers which has become indispensable in modern societies to process data, save time and effort. What are needed will be computer hardware and peripherals, software and for user, computer and literacy. Second, we have telecommunication technologies. This includes telephones with fax and the broadcasting of radio and television often through satellites, telephone systems, radio and TV broadcasting and needed in this category. Last one, we have networking technologies. The best known networking technologies is internet, but it has extended protocol, satellite communication and after forms of communication are still in their infancy. In addition to internet, this category also includes mobile phone, cable, DSL, satellite and other broadband connectivity. Next one we have the DICT roadmap. In our country, the Department of Information and Communication Technology has formulated a roadmap to guide all agencies in the utilization, regulation, and enhancement of ICT. Each project has corresponding policy statements and guidelines. Policies recommended programs that have application to education, teaching, to learning. One. ICT and Education Master Plan for all levels, including a National Roadmap for Faculty Development in ICT Education, National Framework Plan for ICTs in Basic Education was developed. Second, we have Content Application Development through Open Content in Education Initiative, which converts, which converts top and materials into interactive multimedia content, develop an application used in schools, and conduct students and teachers' competitions to promote the development of education-related web content. Third, we have the FedNet. FedNet is a world garden that hosts educational learning and teaching materials in application for use by Filipino students, their parents, and teachers. All public high schools will be part of this network with only DepEd approved multimedia applications Materials and mirrored internet sites accessible from schools PC. Fourth, establish community e-learning called Escuela for out-of-school youth, providing them with ICT-enhanced alternative education opportunities. Fifth, equality program for tertiary education through partnerships with state universities and colleges to improve quality of IT education and the use of ICT in education in the country, particularly outside of Metro Manila. Sixth, Digital Media Arts Program which builds digital media skills for government using open source technologies. 
Particular beneficiary agencies include the Philippine Information Agency and the other government media organizations, the Cultural Center of the Philippines, National Commission for Culture and Arts and the other government art agencies, state university and colleges, and local government units. Seventh, ICT Skills Strategic Plan which develops an interagency approach to identifying strategic and policy and program recommendations to address ICT skills demand supply type. Some issues on ICT and internet policy and regulations. One, we have global issues or access to internet and ICT, civil liberties, infringement to civil liberties or human rights, to under civil liberties, we have freedom of expressions and censorship, privacy and security, surveillance and data retention, and people utens from a waste. So, freedom of expressions and censorship is the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights provided to everyone has the right to freedom of thought, consent, and religion, likewise, the right to freedom of opinion and expression. However, there are practices that violate this provision the use of internet. Some examples are the following. 1. Individual rights are given up in order to have access to electronic networks. Microsoft Networks contracts provide protection of individuals. However, Microsoft observes the rights in its sole direction to terminate access to any or all Microsoft Network sites or services. Second, censorship critiques the transmission of information by blocking it or filtering the information. Blocking is preventing access to whole areas of internet based upon the blacklist of certain internet address, location, or email addresses, while filtering and sifting the packets of data or messages as they move across computer networks and eliminating those considered undesirable materials. Third, Information action may be used to silent pretext. This action deters the freedom of expression. Privacy and security. Privacy policies are an issue. Most commercial sites have a privacy policy. When someone uses a site and clicks I agree, it is as if you have turned over private information to any authority that may access it. There are several types of privacy as shown by the following examples. One, for most, privacy means personal privacy, the right of individuals not to have their home, private life, or personal life interfered with. Second, privacy of communication refers to the protection from interference with communication over the phone or internet. Respect of privacy of communications is essential prerequisite for the maintenance of human relationship via technological communications media. Third, Information privacy is related to the use of computers and communication systems which are able to hold and process information about large numbers of people at high speed. It is important to ensure that information will only be used for purposes for which it was gathered will not be disclosed to others without consent of the individuals. Next is surveillance and data retention. The use of electronic communication has enhanced the development of indirect surveillance. There is no direct contact between the agent and the subject of surveillance, but evidence of activities can be traced. The new and powerful form of indirect surveillance is data surveillance. Data surveillance is the use of personal information to monitor a person's activities, while data retention is the storage and use of information from communication systems. There is very little that can be done to private surveillance. What can be done is to change the methods of working to make surveillance difficult. This is called counter surveillance or information security if, if it refers to computers and electronic communication. Next is APO utils from A waste. The quantities of A waste are increasing in both developed and developing countries. A very dismal state is that there is a significant amount of electronic waste that has been shipped from industrial countries to developing countries using less environmentally responsible procedure. Remedies include standardization and regulatory measures to increase the life cycle of equipment before they become obsolete, efficient extraction of toxic components and requiring the recycling by both consumers and equipment vendors or selling must be required. Large amount of e-waste is generated by ICT. These are particular. 
thermal equipment used for computing, PCs, and laptops, broadcasting, television, and radio sets, telephony, fixed and mobile phones, and peripherals, fax machines, fax machines, printers, and scanners. The accumulated e-waste is due to rapid turnover of equipment due to rapid improvement of software, while material waste can be destroyed by crushing toxic material brought about by the different equipment requires utmost management. Implications to teaching and learning for the teachers and teaching. 1. Guide the teachers on what they should teach that relate to ICT and how to teach it. Since ICT development comes so rapid and fast, teachers might be overwhelmed by its rapid speed. Temperance in its use is a caution that should be looked at. Second, technology should never replace any human teacher. The tools are support instructional materials for the teachers which are able for use. The teacher should learn how appropriate to use them. The human touch of the teacher should learn how to appropriately use them. The human touch of the teacher is still a vital component in teaching. Teachers should always be reminded that there are always limitations in the use of the different gadgets and tools. Third, there are rules and regulations that govern the use of the technology. Caution should always be observed to protect individual privacy. As teachers, you must be aware that the use of technology may jeopardize your privacy and security. Fourth, all the issues and many more shall be part of the teaching content as each teacher will be encouraged to use technology in teaching. Implication to teaching and learning for the learners and learning. One. Two 21st century learners are more advanced than some of the teachers, they still need guidance on how to use, regulate technology use. Second, learners should not only know the benefits of technology use, but they should also know how they can be protected from the hazards that technology brings to their lives. Third, learners should take advantage of the potential of learning support they can derive such as the development of higher order thinking skills, the development of learning communities through collaboration, enhancement of skills to manage the vast resources. Fourth, they should be mindful of the airways that are being thrown away to the land into the atmosphere. I am Christopher Aristoles, 3 Mat A, your discussion. Thank you for watching.